everybody. So today we are gonna be filming a full day in the life. You know, lately I've been doing intuitive eating, which is really cool. I've been really loving the flexibility and the ability to just eat food and not worry about calories or macros. So a lot of people have been asking me, oh, can you make another update video? So that's what we're gonna do today. And here's how we are currently looking. So this morning I did wake up at 206 0.8 pounds. So I believe my last meal was at around like 7 p.m. And I went to bed actually really late last night because I've been watching The Walking Dead and I've been staying up so late. So I think I was up to like 2 a.m. last night just watching the episodes. I think I'm on like season three, episode 14. So if you guys have never seen it, you have to watch it. <laughs> and I'm not like a, a show person. I don't watch much TV, but I am seriously hooked. But anyway, back to the subject. So this is how the physique is looking. I am like a little flat and dehydrated because, you know, after a full night of sleep, you know, you tend to flatten out. So we're gonna start hydrating and then we're gonna go train. But I just wanna show you guys how we're currently looking. Oh, I'll also show you guys how uh, my glutes are looking as well because I know a lot of people want the update. And the, and the legs, so. That is uh, how we are looking, and let's get this day started. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, Brooke. You're the best. Well, all right, my friends, it is time for our first meal of the day. Well, pre-workout meal. So we did go to Five O because we had to get some amazing donuts. So we do have a, I got a s'mores and a Krona, and it was, we'd get maple and a- Krona. Krona, cool. Yeah. All right, bro, let's do it. Let's do this. First. Yeah, we're gonna start with the Krona. It's yeah, good. Yeah, boy. That is just delightful. I didn't get a Cookie Monster today. Only, and just for you guys' sake. I do get it every time, but. I wanted to just switch things up a little bit. But we will be filming a cheat day this weekend and we're gonna have another special guest, so you guys better stay tuned for that. All right, next donut we do have the s'mores. So we do have some chocolate, marshmallow, graham cracker on a yeasted, Chocolate frosted donut. Good. Cheers, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh, and also, I do have some planta protein, two scoops of sprinkle cupcake with 16 ounces of almond coconut milk. This stuff is so fire. Oh, yeah, there is a link in the description you guys can save 10%. It is plant-based. Well, all right, that is going to be the pre-workout meal. So I'm gonna wait a little while, let it digest, and then we're gonna go hit a training session.
solid, solid workout with the homies. And now we're gonna go grab a bite to eat. There is this like little hibachi style restaurant over here. They have like chicken, rice, or like beef and rice that I really do enjoy. So let's head over there, check it out. Look at those traps. Talking about, talking about oh, talking about me. talking about Kabaria, traps are too big, bro. I know. Yeah, look at that. I know. Mountain. I'm trying not to walk next to this guy. Mount Jonathan. Mount Jonathan. I like that. <laughs> All right, so it's called Chi Chop. Chi Chop. You guys ready? So ready. Let go. Gracias, amigo. All right, my friends, so we do have our meal. I wanted to try out the hibachi noodles, so I got a side of those. This is the chicken and steak hibachi. We got white rice, miso soup. What'd you get, John? I got the grilled chicken platter with, um, I guess it's like a cup of steamed rice. And then Xander got the same thing. This is a mushroom soup, by the way. Very nice, very nice. Super, super You guys delicious. excited to eat? Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm super hungry. What'd you get, Kay? Uh, hibachi, steak and rice, miso soup. Gotta try this miso. Yeah, that was really good. I also did get a regular Coca Cola as well. They were out of Diet Coke, but this is actually way better. <laughs> full flavor. Full flavor. Bro, the, co the Mexican cola. Oh, it's it's actual real sugar. Oh, amazing. Yeah, instead of the high fructose corn syrup. Amazing. Yeah, Dude. definitely want to try those. I was like, this is a coke. Right. Seriously. Steak, chicken, veggies, rice. Just simple and easy. All right, my progression on the fried bacon diet was so slow. Mm -hmm. I was going to make a fried bacon diet. It was almost like I was losing muscle, but I was getting fatter. Yeah. On like less calories. Yeah. Like, bro, I was bulking on like 3,600 calories when I was like eating meat. Dude, I was eating like 2,900 now. Just like getting like skin fat, like flattening out, and just like it was crazy. It was weird. All right, let's try out these noodles now. Pretty satisfied. I'm just going to take this home to go. But uh, yeah, that was a solid meal. All right, my friends. So the time is currently 7:49. So I've just been getting some work done and getting a little head start in the video, and kind of worked up an appetite. So I'm hungry. We're gonna head out. We're gonna get some food. Good old Chipotle. How you doing? I'm gonna do a burrito bowl, please. To go. Um, white rice. Um, black beans, please. Can I do feed a veggie, please? And then I will do chicken and steak. So double protein, please. The red salsa. Also corn. Um, a little bit of sour cream. And I think that's it. Well, all right.
it, my friends. We are back home. It is 8.33 p.m. So we stopped at Chipotle, but we also did stop at Target because I wanted to get like a, just a fruit mix. So this is called Fruit Burst. We got an assortment of fruit. I'm going to eat as like a little appetizer. I love me some fruit. Check it out. It's looking real tasty. Nice and fresh. You guys know how much I love strawberries as well. Watermelon. Fat old piece of pineapple. That's so sweet. Some melon. And I think this is mango. Mm hmm. Yeah. That is tasty. Now we get some blueberries and we get some grapes. Nature's candy. And we also do have a Zevia. So it's like a diet cream soda flavored drink with some ice. These things are awesome. I believe they are stevia sweetened. Oh. Yeah, stevia. All right, we'll let that marinate. Now time for the Chipotle. We get some chips. These chips are super good. They're like a, a lime flavored salty tortilla chip. And then also we did go with a burrito bowl and a tortilla on the side. So what I did get was chicken and steak. So one scoop of each. So basically double protein. We got white rice, black beans, we got corn, we got sour cream, and also the red spicy salsa. So I'm really looking forward to this right here. It's looking pretty tasty. So what I like to do is just kind of mix it up a bit. And then I like to make my own burrito. And then you, there, there's always like some leftover in the bowl. So I have like a nice little side bowl that I can eat with the chips. Bon appetito. Oh, I also do have some Frank's Red Hot. Because I've never had Chipotle with Frank's Red Hot. There's always like Tabasco sauce there, which I do like. But I figured it'd be kind of interesting to see how it tastes with Frank's Red Hot sauce. Oh, we also did get fajita peppers too. Mm. Alright, that should make a pretty fat burrito. Cheers. Mmm. That is damn tasty. Let's try some of this Frank's Red Hot. That is delicious. So yeah, I just wanted to go to Chipotle because it's quick and it's easy and it's pretty good. Obviously there are better Mexican restaurants out there, but again, quick and easy. And typically I'll cook, I'll cook at home, but I like to just be able to pick up a meal, you know, I don't have to wash any dishes, but I do really enjoy cooking. Mm. That's gonna be a good bite right there. Look at that. Spice it up a bit. I seriously cannot wait to watch Walking Dead tonight. <laughs>
Mm. Man, this French Red Hot is killer. Any guys out there really like hot sauce? Because I really enjoy hot sauce. What uh, if you do? What's your favorite hot sauce? Comment down below. Do you like French Red Hot, Tabasco, um, El Cantaro? I actually do have my own hot sauce as well. And I'll actually see if I can put it on my website so that way you guys can try it. It's really good. If you do go to No Problem in New Bedford, Massachusetts, it's there. Definitely try it. Ooh, all right. Take down some of these chips. Finish off this burrito bowl. Ooh, check that out right there. Hmm. All right, my friends, so that is a full day of intuitive eating with myself. So that's basically what I'm doing. I will usually have about three meals per day, one being breakfast, that's my pre-workout meal, then I will train, then I'll have my post-workout meal, and then I will have a meal later on at night, so around like, say, 8 o'clock, 8.30, and then that is it for the day. So I'm feeling very well satiated, I'm not hungry, and I'm not eating like a crazy amount, you know, I'm just eating till I'm satiated, not worrying about calories, not worrying about macros. And it's just been really cool to have that mental freedom to not even think about it. You know, I've been tracking calories and macros for years and, you know, always just having like numbers up in my head like, oh, what, what is this meal? You know, I just don't even think about it and it's pretty cool. And so my body weight this morning was 206.8 pounds. And again, I'm not concerned with a number on the scale. And as I am not tracking, you know, it's like I have lost a little bit of weight, but I still feel good. Strength is still good. And yeah, that's most important to me. So yeah, that is going to be today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And yeah, that's it guys. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.